Hi Scorpio, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-August to the end of August 2021. It's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And because it's general, it's not going to be for everybody's situation. But of course, if you want, you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading with me. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because it is a general reading, all right? If you'd like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. All right, Scorpio, let's see what is going on with you for the second half of August. All right, so for the overall energy, we have, we have bound. Okay, so possibly, we'll see, but I have a feeling that, you know, because I... I feel like you, for the most part, um, for Scorpio, I feel like you were, you know, um, really getting a handle on your fears or on just really coming to terms with not knowing certain things. There might be a little bit of doubt or fear that is kind of creeping back up. That's how this is coming through. But let's clarify and see. All right, it could be you. It could it could be your person. All right, also roles can be reversed again. Let's see, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, so for you, we have the Three of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. All right, three, 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 if that means anything to anybody. Yeah, you know, it feels like, you know, you're either, you're either going through a separation or you're in a separation or you're just feeling a lot of pain when it comes to the situation here possibly not really coming together. You, maybe you feel like this person just is not collaborating with you. Like maybe you have been giving more or um, putting in more effort than the other person. And it comes in as possibly just kind of waiting to see what is going to come out of this. So that could be the bound energy here, um, the waiting part to see what's going to happen. So you kind of feel bound to this bound to the result, almost like, you know, the result of what is going to happen, you feel is what is going to affect you. And I feel like this is actually creating a lot of pain here for you. Let's see for them, we have the King of Wands, the Lovers, and the Five of Cups. All right, okay, so this is, wow. I feel like this is deep. Um, this person is somebody who does want to take action. This is somebody who does feel a lot of passion for you. This is somebody who is driven. This is somebody who does feel a lot of love here or does have a lot of emotions or at least sees the potential here in this connection. But I feel like there's something holding them back from the past. Um, it's also coming in with a lot of grief, a lot of sadness here. I feel like they're feeling sad too. They're feeling some pain as well, just as you are. So I don't know what it is that has happened here. But I feel like they're holding on to the past here with you and there's something sad about it. So we'll see what the issue is, hopefully when we clarify. Let's see, the message for you here is the Queen of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. Well, somebody is beginning to become more determined or just more clear and more demanding of respect. I feel like this is self-worth increasing, not wanting to play games and wanting the other person to also give. And I feel like actually, this is you. I feel like this is like a message or guidance for you or, you know, what you're moving towards coming up. But you can also take this as encouragement or as guidance. And I will say more about that once we clarify. All right, 
right, so let's see, Scorpio. Because definitely I feel like you're both in pain here. You're both um, feeling some sadness. Let's see, let's see that three swords. The Knight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, see, because that's why. Because you you feel a lot of um, emotions for this person. And I feel like you see this person as somebody that you really could have a happily ever after for. I feel like this is definitely a deep connection that you have with someone. And what's hurting you is the fact that this person is not coming in as this Knight of Cups. I feel like this person might be holding back. Which I don't understand yet because I do see them wanting this. But they're not coming in as this Knight of Cups. That's why you are feeling this pain. I feel like maybe you're bound to this idea that if they were to come in and give you this love offer that this would be a happily ever after. And maybe you're right. I don't know. Um, definitely feels like a strong connection here. Let me see the Three of Pentacles. The Magician and the King of Pentacles. All right, I see. So I feel like, you know, it feels like this person is passionate. This person is um, driven. This person might be very, very fond of you. But I feel like what is missing here, like what it is that you are putting in more effort towards is manifesting the commitment, whereas this person might be lacking that lacking bringing to reality the commitment aspect or the like long-term stableness or stableness that's not a word <laughs> the long-term stability of this connection let's see if we have wands <clears throat> All right, we have Temperance, the Emperor, and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, you know, it's like you're, I feel like you've been waiting for a long time here. You've been waiting very, very patiently um, for this person to just like step up their game, take control over the situation, um, just be more, how do I say this? All right, well, here's what's coming to me. Be more masculine. Um, take take some action. Get Take some control. Take possibly an initiative and, you know, be like the emperor. And again, it feels like you're, you're waiting for this and it's just, it's not happening. Seven of Swords. And I actually feel like, you know, this might actually be something that is holding you back. And, you know, I mean, that's okay um, for a while because sometimes, you know, this is what, by waiting, you know, then we realize, well, okay, it's not happening. And I feel like that's why the, this message is showing up afterwards, right? That you're waiting, you realize it doesn't happen. It actually makes you feel um, like this might be unhealthy, that it's just not good for you. And then bam, you're like this queen of swords. You become this nine of pentacles, being very self-reliant, demanding that respect and demanding the other person to give this um, the same effort. I feel like this is similar, a little similar to cancer, actually. So definitely let me know if you're dealing with the cancer. Um, we also have, what do we have here? We have Gemini showing up. Um... We have, we have a lot of signs. We have a lot of signs. Let's see the King of Wands for them. All right, wow, look at this. Look at this, you guys. All right, so we have the lover showing up again. All right, um, so Gemini showing up again for some of you. The Ace of Swords and the Three of Pentacles showing up, which is, you know, what the issue is here. This person is definitely feeling the love here, definitely feeling the connection. I mean, it's showing up twice. This person definitely feels the truth 
of this connection. But the whole issue is them actually taking action in the material world, in the physical, and putting in that effort, meeting you halfway. Why, why, why? Yeah, very similar. I feel like it's similar to Cancer. Um, let me clarify the lovers. The Ten of Pentacles. This is driving me crazy. Somebody please explain to me if this resonates with you, if you know what is going on with this person, definitely let me know. Um, I'm trying to, to get the message here, but apparently because everybody's situation is going to be different, um, we're not getting the details here, all right, because this is a general reading. But basically, this person does want a commitment with you, all right? They do want this. That is what is crazy about this. Let's see if we can get some answers here with this Five of Cups. Uh, maybe some of them have to make a decision, all right, between, I feel like this is just going to be for a specific group of you, um, where somebody has to make a decision here between two separate connections, all right? So some of them might actually be bound. That could be also the bound card, bound to another commitment here. Um, but I feel like for most of you, it's this person just definitely feels that love for you. That's showing up here anyway. Let's see the Five of Cups. Why is this person feeling such grief, pessimism, possibly some guilt? All right, so we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Sun. I do get that for some of them, this might be work-related. Um, they, might, they might have a fear of this connection interfering with their work or of possibly, yeah, having to end another situation that has to do with their finances. So for some of them, it could even be financial. All right, definitely coming through with the Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. There's definitely an ending here that they are either grieving, but mostly I feel like this, there's an ending that they are, that they are fearing, that they feel like just very pessimistic about what the actual consequences will be. So moving towards you might have some other kind of effect when it comes to their material world, when it comes to their finances, um, when it comes to something that is practical in matter. And that will be something that is very painful for them, that they feel like they're going to have to grieve. And I feel like a lot of them are already kind of in that process. So whatever that is, there might already be an ending that is happening here because we also have the sun. And so I feel like ultimately this person is choosing happiness, but because they're still in this five of cups energy, it's still taking a little bit of time before that actually plays out, before they move in that direction. Also have Leo showing up here. There could even be some guilt when it comes to what it is that, that that is ending in order for them to move towards you or in order for them to move towards this happiness, which I do feel is you. Especially having the lovers twice here. So, of course, that's going to be different for each of you, but I do feel like for a lot of them, there are, are some finances or practical issues that are involved. All right. So for the message here, I feel like it's pretty clear, all right? This I feel like this is the message for you. You know, this person is doing their thing. I do feel like they're working on it, actually. All right, also with that um, Eight of Pentacles here, they are working on whatever, whatever this issue is, possibly for some of them just feeling um, a sense of guilt, maybe about the past. I feel like they are also holding on to the past um, of your connection or whatever that is. You 
are moving towards being this queen of swords, all right? Really just not putting up with this waiting energy anymore because that has kept you bound in some way and it may have held you back from your own personal happiness, from your own personal growth in some way. And so you are becoming more, just more independent of this. I feel like you're breaking away from that bound energy and this is bringing a lot of balance into your life. So let me just clarify the Six of Pentacles. Ooh, wow. <laughs> wow, look at this. Now, this, this reading just keeps um, surprising me and shocking me in the good way. So we have Judgment, the Ace of Cups, and the King of Wands. So here it is, you know, you finding your own sense of self-respect, not putting up with you putting in effort for this, whereas this person is holding back that effort or holding back that energy, that is actually bringing that even reciprocity to you. And I do feel like it is going to be um, from this person, okay, in this particular case. I feel like this is actually bringing about some kind of a transformation, some kind of a resurrection of this of this love. I mean, look at this, the Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, this is a deep connection. I said it from the very beginning. There's a lot of love here, right? And here's that person showing up. Here's them showing up as that King of Wands again. All right, could be fire sign for some of you. Um, so that's why I'm saying, I do feel like it is this same person that we are talking about. It's not, it's not somebody else. And I see this person actually taking action now on that, on this love and being able to give to you and meet you halfway. All right, Scorpio. So yeah, that is coming in the more that you take care of your own self and have respect for your own self and get out of that bound energy. All right, so for your message here, we have the new moon in Pisces. All right, so maybe some of you are dealing with the Pisces. Meditate and contemplate. So yes, if this is what you're feeling guided to do, if meditation might help you to detach, you know, do some meditation when it comes to um, independence and being self-reliant on detachment possibly. All right, but I also feel like this is a message for about your person, all right, that they are also contemplating whatever it is that is going on here and whatever it is that they are working on and focused on, some kind of an ending in order to move towards their happiness. So Scorpio, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.